How to migrate or transfer your website to a new host for free. And with no downtime, let's get started without wasting time and follow the step new number one. First of all, we have to log into our WordPress dashboard. Go to Plugin and install the all in one WP migration plugin. As you can see here, this WP migration plugin. So click on install and then activate it. And now, in order to migrate or transfer the full WordPress website with domain name, we have to export the all file of this current host. To success the first step, let's click on export. And there are many options where you want to export. Just select file to keep things easier. Now, just wait for seconds pending its procedure before downloading your website files. And right now, let move to the step number two and get the new web hosting I chose DreamHost because it's fast, cheap, and it's recommended when it comes to the customer services. Can you imagine that the host with DreamHost will cost you less than $3 monthly including many features. It also come with free domain name if you want to start a business over. In this tutorial, I will get a shared hosting to transfer my website from old host company to DreamHost as well as my domain name hitchatorial.com. And here is the host plan. You can select the three-year plan which reduced the price to $2.59 monthly. And also there are two kind of shared hosting, the starter and the unlimited one. But for now, I prefer to get the shared hosting to only host my domain name hitchatorial.com. And the finally it will be an option to upgrade to next level and host more domain on one server. Later on, Make sure that this shared plan will benefit you with free domain name if you want to, and also, your website will get unlimited traffic. Moreover to the WordPress pre-installer and WP WordPress Builder, one more option. DreamHost also use its free migration plugin, but in fact, the all-in-one WP migration plugin is super amazing to transfer your full website quickly and easier. Also, I will give you a good feature for this plugin, after buying the hosting, let move to step number three and start installing a new WordPress. So guys, here is my shared DreamHost panel. I haven't chose any domain name because I will transfer my website with an existed domain name. DreamHost will give us a free subdomain name where we can build WordPress pending to fully migrating the website. So here, we can add the existed domain name. Please watch carefully and ensure that I haven't changed any things inside of my old host because changing DNS or name servers may lead my domain name to 404 or something like that. Therefore, I will keep transferring my website manually as you are seeing in this video. Just complete the steps simply without making any changes on your old hosting site. Make sure that following this step will guide you to build a WordPress hosting with a subdomain name. After that, I will show you how we can simply fully migration the website to the new host. And here is the WordPress is start installing. And here is my panel of my domain site. Let's click on install the WordPress and move to next step. And finally, here is the WordPress site hosted by subdomain temporary. So guys until now. Ensure that we complete the third step, and right now, we are going to move to the fourth step. Step number four. We must to keep the new WordPress empty before importing the file from WP Migration plugin. If I SRT, we must delete all posts that normally comes. When we build a new WordPress, make sure to delete them permanently. After I deleted all posts and pages permanently, it is time to delete or disactivate plugs in.
After you finish deleting, just review your dashboard WordPress. And also check if there are any other themes existed, so you also should delete then in the case. After finished reviewing your site, let's turn to next step and start importing our website domain name file. To continue transferring the website, Step number five. We should install the all-in-one WP migration plugin in order to import our website file. So now, go to your dashboard and click on plugin to add new plugin. And that is simply like you search for plugins to install them. However, in this video I will not install again. This WP migration plugin, while I will import it from my PC. I will put the link below in description. To download this last version of all in one WP migration with import plugin. So as to make importing better and support 32 gigabytes. After you installed, uploaded it, and activated it. It is time to start importing your website file, the matter is kinda like we did export before. And here you can realize that the import is 32 gigabytes. Make sure that if you use the freemium WP migration plugin, you will only can import less than one gigabyte. Also, ensure that importing files may take longer depending on your internet speed. You can keep this importing in background pending to be completed. Or, you can import your website file from panel if you got any uploading issues. And here is the importing completed. So now we have to proxt in order to transfer the full website with domain name. And with no downtime. Once it is completed, it will direct us to WordPress login page. After it fully proxed, don't try to log into your new WordPress until we move to next step. Step number six, we must go to our domain list to change name servers. Right now, we are closer to finish the full website migration. If you are using DreamHost, you can check your email. The DreamHost team has wanted to inform me that I should change the DNS and name servers of my domain name. And before going to change your domain DNS and name servers, you can put your domain name into results to see your domain DNS, therefore, my domain name is hosted by Contabo, so I should replace it by DreamHost name servers to finish the migration. So now, I'm in my domain list on Namecheap Company in order to add DreamHost name servers. And simply, I will add these three DNS as name servers as including in this article. And once you've finished, Click on save to continue proceeding. Ensure that changing DNS it may take longer. And a slow make sure you have a backup from your old website. And here is my old website dashboard. So I have already made a backup for free using Updraft Plus plugin. And now, we can back to this site to check DNS of our domain name after making a change of name servers. And here it goes, my domain name is hosted by DreamHost right now. So I'm able to log into my new WordPress using the old information login including username and password. Step number seven. And the last step to log into new WordPress to see the transferring. Finally, here is my website is hosting by new company. But there is still a big issue. However, I have to check to see if the all my website files were successfully transferring, including my unique design, blog posts, articles, comments, media, etc. Besides of the domain name, my all database and website files were moved to my new host as well, while I will contact the support team to fix this technical issue. And here is the new mail from the DreamHost team. 
so they will install a SSL with let encrypt for free. After that, my domain will response will to display on my website. And after several minutes, I'm taking a look of see the last update of my new host after transferring the full site to DreamHost. With no downtime using all in one WP migration plugin. Do everything is look fine including my design, menu, pages, and articles. Therefore, this migration was successfully proxed. I will leave all links to get access to transfer your site to another web hosting. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.